Hey YouTube, Travis here, and today I'm putting together a cheap helmet camera so I can hopefully go out and film some moped rides. So this is my three-quarter helmet. It's an HJC CL33 helmet, and I'm okay putting a hole in the top of this because uh, I've just upgraded to a full-face helmet for additional safety, so this helmet's just going to be kind of uh, just a filming helmet. So this is kind of an experiment for me also. I know that the bottom thread on most cameras, like this still camera here, same as the video camera I'm holding in my hand, uh, that is a quarter inch US standard thread. So I went out and bought some quarter inch bolts. Then over here I have some nuts, some washers, and some lock washers. I wanted to make this cheap, and uh, I learned something here. I got these bolts here at the Home Depot, and um, I thought they were pretty cheap. I only spent uh, 64 cents on them. I got three quarter inch, one inch, one and a half inch, and two and a half inch. Um, but actually, I got all this hardware over here at Tractor Supply, and if you can find a store that has the same kind of policy they do, they sell their bolts by the pound. So, <laughs> this costed me a dime. So if you're enough of a cheapskate like I am, if you do any projects like this in the future, you'll go buy all your stuff at a, at a hardware store that sells by the pound. So it's kind of hard to think, I mean, if you're filming this for skateboarding or for, you know, riding bikes or whatever, what kind of angle you want. Think about how you ride, how your head's pointed. Of course, no project is complete without your extremely vintage Black & Decker home utility drill. This has definitely not been oiled since before I have existed. So I've got two holes drilled here just to start with. Unfortunately, this one right in the middle of uh, my Ghost Rider sticker that they were kind enough to give me when I met them. Alright, so one of the challenges doing this was um, here's the chuck key from my normal tripod. Notice how the threads only come up a certain uh, certain distance there. Uh, that's because oftentimes on these cameras the uh, place where the tripod screws in that housing is made of plastic and if you screw in too much you might damage it. So that's why I got a couple of different lengths of bolts here. I'm obviously not going to need the two and a half inch one. Uh, <laughs> don't know quite what I was thinking there, but let's take the one inch for example. Stick that through here. Well, first things first, we'll go ahead and thread a nut on here. And you know, I want this to be somewhat uh, removable in case I have a friend who comes over and wants to ride one of my bikes and they don't have a helmet, you know, that kind of thing. Just so there's the zero risk of this going through your head if you crash, you know. Okay, now I'm going to do another bolt. Then I'm going to take a washer because I want the camera to sit on something flat. And then I'm going to extremely gently screw this camera on here. Very gently until it hits the point where it stops. So I'm taking the nut that's right under the washer and loosening it and loosening it slowly tighten the washer against the bottom of the camera. Well that looks sort of okay for a still camera. Let's go see how it measures up with my my really nice high definition camera mounted up there. Oh goodness. 